Hello, my name is Adam Hughes from Go Engineer, and today we're going to take a look at how we can use the animation toolbar inside of SolidWorks Composer. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the color of some of these components to make them look more appealing. Go ahead and select metal here and satin for the knob. And we'll go ahead and select chrome for the hardware. Perfect. And the very first thing I'm going to do is snap an image of this. And I'm also going to record a camera view, followed by a secondary view where I can, uh, again, use this in the animation toolbar. Perfect. Now the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this view and drag it and drop it into the time bar at zero seconds. This will give me a starting point for the animation. Also records my camera view, and I can start telling my story about how this clamp operates. Now I could grab this component and rotate it and move it and keyframe all these components along the time bar. But instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my animation library uh, to rotate this component out. Under the motion group and screw option, I can modify the flash to zero. That way we don't see that. The translate to zero as well. And go ahead and change the rotate option from 0 to 10 seconds, followed by a, a rotation about the x-axis with a 10 rotation movement by specifying the 3600 there. Select the components you want to create the animation for and click Create. You'll see the animation library now updated your time bar with the blue ribbon up top, articulating the rotational movement of the components you selected. Now the next thing I have to do is select the components that I want to translate as this rotates. So I'm going to select the clamp and the hardware and the knob, and not forgetting the uh, small screw there in the back and translate this out to the left showing it in the open position. Now since I had auto keyframing on you'll see in my time bar that I have a new position key for those components. Let's go ahead and play this back. We'll take a look at how this animation looks. Perfect. So now I wanted to use my second camera. We started off with the initial view, which is the first camera. Now we're going to go ahead and select the second camera and drag and drop it into my timeline so that this component can rotate as the, or so the camera can rotate rather, as the components rotate and translate their positions. Let's go ahead and see how that looks. Cool. Now one thing I might want to do just to clean this up a little bit is to specify the hold positions for a camera. So I'm going to use the control key to copy this camera and place it at 1.5 seconds. This will hold the camera for 1.5 seconds, then translate the camera orientation. I'll do, go ahead and do the same thing for the end of the time bar here. So let's go ahead and play this back. We should see the hold for 1.5 seconds, then the transition from one camera to the next followed by the hold of the last camera until all the parts are finished moving. Awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick tip video on using the time bar in SolidWorks Composer to create animations. If you like this video, please subscribe and be sure to visit GoEngineer.com for some other great content. I'm Adam Hughes with GoEngineer. Thanks for watching.